What's up guys, Eternal here and welcome to my Zaya gameplay, actually the commentary of the game that I played that I didn't record. I'm gonna show you how to play her in a way that I'm gonna provide the best build and runes. Actually you can see that at the start of the video and I'm also gonna provide some tips which can be useful for your Zaya gameplay. Alright, so I'm playing with Zyra against Pantheon and Samira, I think. Yeah, so this lane is tricky because both of them can block feathers. Pantheon with his shield and Samira with her W. Alright, so you want to start with Q first every time. And let's take a look at the passive. After losing an ability, Zaya's next 3 attacks will deal 30% damage to all other targets along their path and leave a feather for 6 seconds. Then, after pressing Q, you throw 2 daggers, leaving physical damage and leaving feathers. And then you can activate these feathers with E. If you have 3 feathers on the ground and manage to hit your enemy with 3 feathers, you're gonna root the target. So pay attention. After Q, your basic attacks leave feathers on the ground, as you can see. Actually missed at the start, but doesn't matter. The main goal is to hit level 2 first before your enemies. And remember, if with Q you throw Two feathers, then you just need one auto for three feathers and you just E. So E second. Sometimes to finish off your target you can just do Q and E. So you deal the damage with two feathers and E. But most of the times you need additional auto attack. Though Zaya's basic attack range is not that great. Charlie, she's really dependent on items. She scales nicely into late game, but her early is average. And as for W, you gain attack speed. And when the secondary blade hits a champion, you grant yourself movement speed. Yeah, I tried to save Zyra. So you don't get movement speed instantly when pressing W, but actually after successfully landing basic attack. And got them. So they had a nice idea because they both used their abilities to stop my feathers, but instead of casting that instantly, I have waited expecting them to do that and got them with feathers. So, really satisfying play, I think. It was really easy to mess this up, but I didn't. And at this gold cap, it's just best to finish attack speed boots, as Zaya benefits from that. Some mobility so you can catch up to your enemies, and generally attack speed so you can apply feathers faster. And that's all you need, pretty much. And I recommend using W when being in close range when you're fighting. It's there to boost your damage per second, doing the trade. It's also good for the push. And it's good to apply feathers quickly for an easy route. I got me. 
Well, that was a good engage and it's forcing me to back. It's not worth staying with such amount of HP early on the lane. Not gonna lose much more out of that, so yeah. I just go like this. You want to max E first. And then you max W second. Saya also gets additional effect with Rakan with her W. He gains the effects of this ability, so he gains attack speed. Oh wait, actually not attack speed. He gains movement speed when Zaya strikes the target, yeah. I'm seeing Pantheon on support more often lately. Oh, he blocked a lot. And she also blocked this. This time she waited out. I also waited. And she got it right. Managed to block. Both champions able to just block feathers, that's interesting and unusual. This Scion is really fat. At least I have Oat as an answer to Scion's Oat. And what Oat does. Zaya leaps into the air, becoming unforgettable and ghosted for 1.5 seconds before raining down daggers that deal physical damage and leave behind a line of feathers. So you become unforgettable, which means you can still get affected by Ignite earlier. So if you are under Ignite effect, hey, let's go. That was satisfying. So if you are under Ignite effect and you out, you're still gonna take damage. It makes you unforgettable, not invulnerable, so keep in mind about this difference. Though of course you can avoid something like Scion's Oath or Pantheon's Stun. And upon outing you leave feathers on the ground, so you can use it aggressively. And I play with Lethality, surely I really like to play Lethality on many ADCs. I feel like ADCs are stronger when they build Lethality, because items are broken. She's level 7. They are playing much safer now, I have noticed. Never mind, Pantheon actually still wants to finish off Zyra. And I have decided to make an aggressive play. You saw that. Samira just blocked my Q and saved Pantheon, but she died instead of him. And I kind of want to die with him. But it might be too obvious.
Okay, not gonna happen, it seems. Kha'Zix is coming. Action on the ring gauge. Okay. I'm five zero. I'm gonna finish Eclipse. Thing is, my team is really behind. Pretty much, jungler is doing all right, but the top laner and mid laner. You see the stats. Yeah, got the clips. Also, another tip is I don't recommend using your ultimate in an aggressive way too often because often it's not worth it. Like, imagine you get a kill on someone, but you will lose your only way to survive if you play against something like Rengar, for example. I guess it's good on the lane where it's not as punishing, but later keep it defensively more. Also pay attention to your feathers on return, because you miss... If you miss, at first you can get them at the second time on the return, actually. They really like to focus Zyra. They have two low HP targets. And in the end he didn't take anyone. The Sion will be a problem. The problem with Sion is the fact that he's able to use this active item when he's dead on his undying passive. Then he immediately dashes and deletes you. Ah, 
at this point I'm really strong with these items. Instead of Collector you can go for a Sense Weaver, but I recommend Collector more. This item is good for the tempo of the game, often boosts your power spike. So you see I use W on the turret. Okay. Yeah, this Pantheon, you should focus me more, but I guess he knows he's unable to do much. I'm playing too safe. Yeah, see? This active? Wow, she barely survived. I don't know if it's allowed, like, is that a bug or that's why I would think that it's healthy. I'm a bit tired, honestly, so hope you don't mind. Also, I don't recommend using Q much late game, in close range only, because in close range it's much better to just activate W, and with decent amount of attack speed, you actually auto attack faster and do more damage than with the Q. But outside, it's worth casting the Q because it's always an additional feather. Yeah, this time Sion surprised me. I think he hit me somehow. At least I rooted him, yeah. I tried. See that? Purple. She won. I took Serpent's Fang or Victor's Shield or Silent Shield. Just felt like it's the right way. Usually it's worth building this item. There are many shields. 
There is a shield from Eclipse, right? Yeah. This as well. And yeah, also Samira has shield bow. Makes sense. And I'm gonna return to standard gameplay soon. I just wanted to show some nice games from the replay. I usually do gameplays, of course, where I play real time. Oh, this was a good OT, I think. Actually died. Looking bad. Nice catch. Of course, I took healing reduction, especially for Samira. It's 5 9, but it's still Samira. Well, at this point, it's all about pressing the right out. You need good reaction time. Nice. Good job. Was quick. But as you can see, Sion is constantly pressuring side lanes. His annoying speed push can do wonders if you don't react. Silas come back. And yeah, I had to back to defend. Yeah, here he is hoping for me to make the mistake of getting too close to the wall. I'm actually aware of it. And my team is doing barrel now. See, he's still waiting.
Same shrine, but I'm just not falling for that. You will realize soon. Yeah. Actually took a lot and hit it. So yeah, I guess he's getting away. And yeah, Lord Dominic's regards, because most of them have more HP than me. And especially because they have some armor. We're playing really safe lately, just avoiding the mistake. Show for Drake. You actually reached that despite the indicator showing something else. Silas Syndrome. <laughs> Here comes Sion. And I'm kind of aware there is some bad spot. How much? Oh, I actually killed Pantheon. Let's see. So, what was his idea? Oh, he went on Zyra again. I see. He's constantly focusing Zyra. Pro game. We are using this time to push. Has been 
Well, I didn't know that Pantheon would get rooted, so I used ult just to be safe. Actually, after realizing that he got rooted, I knew I didn't have to ult. They are not face checking. And they wanted to surrender. We're setting up the trap and here we go. Look at that burst. Vitality Zaya is something else. Oh. Got Kazix at least. I actually missed. I thought it's a free kill. <laughs> Lastly, I completed Mortal Reminder. For this game, I just wanted to have items that have some specific effect. So. This for shields, this executes, this is for armor pan and healing with action. With Eclipse, granting armor pan, max health, physical damage, so additional effect for your basic attacks. Not only basic attacks, abilities in general. I wanted to split push, but when I see such team fight being so close, I'm going in. Oh, here I did the mistake. I could have ulted easily and avoided that. I just forgot about the fact that he's able to cast this active like that. And that's pretty much GG. So thanks guys for watching, I hope that you enjoyed this game. And if you did then you can like, subscribe and you can check out my other videos and stream. As I have for many other champions. And hopefully see you next time.